what? Sasa kuna challenge mitolewa soko yeah. na nikajua niko safe. Okay. But ilichukua muda mrefu is barely 2 weeks. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm newly wedded. Okay. Nilifanya wedding. Uh-huh. Uh, kind of honeymoon. Uh-huh. So for one week. Okay. Yeah, so from there now barely one week one after no. kutoka honeymoon. So bro, mm. Eh mimi niko newly wedded, niko mm-hmm. na my lovely wife, mm-hmm. baadhi bibi yangu binampenda sana. Okay. But for the past one week since talking to honeymoon, okay. I may change. Baby zake zime change sana, vitu mingi zime change sana very drastically. Mm-hmm. I may change kabisa tabia zake vile anachoconduct hata kuvaa mavazi yake. Okay. Hata vae kama mwanamke ule ambaye anoleka. Hata ame change vitu, kwa ameweka sije vitu gani kwa mdomo. Mm-hmm. Yaani she's really changed kabisa. Wait, what is this? Wait, who is this? Wait, 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 Goja. Who is this? Wait. Bro, tulia, tulia. My dear. Nini hizi tunaongea sasa? Sio ni kiateka. Baby yangu imeharibika, babe. Una kongo always busy. Nilipigia kiateka kuja nipelekee kwa mechanic. Babe, listen, 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 listen. I know, just keep it. Skip. Kwa tulienda honeymoon, hata huku nilia time enough tumeenda one week. This angalia, nini hizi sasa? Nini hizi? What are this? Babe, what are this? Ana msurufeni ni kwa gari. Madam. Mimi ama mimi ni live niende wapi? Guy. Madam. Madam. I want to send the record straight. Yeah. Eh mimi sijawekwa. Mhm. Mama namke. Mhm. Na mimi sio kafukusui. Mhm. Yes. In fact mimi niko mle msemu ya pia support and kibe sana makafusui for sure at least watambua. Mhm. Mimi ni hasla. Mimi am self made. Mm-hmm. Ndio Kenya wenyewe kuna control for sure akisema kwamba mimi niliacha ni, ni mimi siwezi angalia bibi, siwezi angalia mapenzi. Wa Kenya kama ni for sure ni uchumi wa saa hizi hivi. Mm-hmm. Utakaa pale na bibi kwa honeymoon ama utakuja usani kwa biashara shughuli. Mm-hmm. Na kesho nataka kuzaa watoto tuanze kulea. So bro me I came back na road. my true family thank you for tuning in once again this is a new year a new beginning and uh, a lot of a lot a lot has been happening last year a year before that the other one you know, now it's like three years down the line right now doing this thing we appreciate for all all those when you are here only to shake we are so glad to have you guys we really do appreciate I'm honest, yeah, by one thing, one way or the other, you supported this channel by subscribing or by doing anything. We really do appreciate and acknowledge that one, eh? So, uh, I want to welcome this guy on set. But uh, before I end it, there's something that he wants to make it clear on people. I'm on air. A lot has been said about him. And uh, he thinks like Nikama to say me visor, Nikama, we are not real. I mean, stuck in your gay son, stuck in your piggy and bomb with son, stuck in my name of Koyango. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth. <coughs> Sana Kubo. Thank you, Director yes. Jay. Uh-huh. Asante. Umefika, Ukawashu, Kawasho, Washo, and Antiako. Yes. But um, I thank God you are this kind of a guy when you want to calm your issues and kuzifanya ina 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 sijini inaitangwaje in a way that you know how to handle your shit yes so karibu sana bro thank you bro yeah so Nashukuru. leo niko na maswali mawili matatu mm-hmm. ambayo nitataka nikuulize ninge deep ndani kidogo yeah uh, the last episode uh, wakati mlikuwa na my boy mm-hmm. hapa mm-hmm. Uh, the host mwenye mlikuwa na yeye mm-hmm. a lot happened Mm-hmm. Kana vitu zingine. Mm-hmm. When you met me, you told me about your you are bibi yako anaipenda, blah blah blah, things mm-hmm. like those. Baka kwenye tuliana tukawapata. And um, tukafanya mengi. Lakini mwisho siku your wife aligeuza kila kitu akasema it was all a lie. Like she's the provider. In other words, our twetu alijijazia akasema wewe ni kafukusui. <laughs> uh, inaka kind of boring and uh, kwa sababu umesema you want to make it clear on air you have the time to answer the questions thanks bro karibu nashukuru sana yes 
Ya, yeah, first and foremost nasema asante mzee yako nipe opportunity. Yes. Na pia unajua ulikuwa na kitu by the vijana wengi wanaumia huko nje sana. Yeah. Na mimi by the something siko nimekuelezea. Mm. Ni daktari mm. ama psychologist. Yeah. Na wao tunafanya kazi ya kinani counseling. And when you go out and you speak out una heal, unapona. Mm. It's a therapy. Wakati una unashana una watu. So pia mimi coming baada ya kujua na come to share na wewe na get inajaribu kufeel poa na kuhilikia so na get na pia bila nimekuwa napitia some comments wa kinyo wanasema na jaribu kufeel poa mm-hmm. thanks for this opportunity Karebu. second link yeah i want to say the record straight yes e, mimi mm. sijawekwa mm-hmm. na mwanamke mm-hmm. na mimi sio kafukusi mm-hmm. yes in fact mimi niko ile msemu ya pia u support and kibe sana makafukusi for sure at least watambua mm-hmm. mimi ni hustler mimi am self made Mhm. Mm-hmm. Nataka sijaribu switch sasa let's go na ile camera. Okay. So bro mimi nime hustle sana, nilikuwa najituma. Number one, nataka kure, kurekebisha kitu moja. Mm-hmm. Before ni go far nataka kushukuru my mother in law. That woman I respect her so much and I love her so much because of one thing. Na ndio maana my woman ana mistake. Yeye shima ni kunena na mamangu mkwe. Mm-hmm. My mother in law alisaidia nikapata job. Through her connection ambako nazo alini link nikapata job kwa parliament nikajiriwa mm. nilikuwa attached as director of communication mm. in the parliament of people of kenya wow. attached in the cdf office mm. eh, kimilili cdf office okay mimi nipata na mimi nilipenda kufanya hiyo kazi nikirudi nyuma kidogo <coughs> nilikuweza kwamba nilipo kwa out of the country i go to south africa mm-hmm. mimi nimekuwa artist manager mm. wa papa denis Mm. Umko msani, mimi msikie. Ya ya ya, nimempata. Nimemuona mara kadhaa japokuwa uh-huh. sahihi ni RIP. Ya yeah, baze alienda. Mm. Wake Rock mali pema hapo hema. Sasa manager wake. Yes. Yeah. So I to South Africa na yeye. Pia nimekuwa nimefanya pia na RIC. So kumi kule kwa Godfather Production. So huko nilikuwa nimeenda kufanya mambo production shooting na pia attachment yangu kule South Africa. So mm. when I was there <coughs> ndio ada nilikuwa nikibonga na mama tu mama for sure kazi ya kwasu madhi baada ya kwasu iko namna gani siko upo so tafuta kazi hapa na pale sema my son when you come to the country niweza kulinga poka pata kazi so when i get back to the country after all south africa bro that's where mama alikuja na she has very networks that mama she has very connections kazi nikapata hiyo kazi that what she did but what i've done with that job from there there is a history many get but before before they are bro watch ni kwambie kitu moja Mimi I've traveled this world. Kusiko na Papa Dennis, tumeenda South Africa, tumeenda Nigeria, tumeenda Dallas, Dallas, eh nini Texas, USA. Kus 2015 tuluini Mafaka Award. Hapa hapa Kenya. 2017 kunumitiwa Afrima Award. Nigeria. 2018 kunumitiwa eh Afrima Award. USA, Dallas, Texas tukawin award. Bro mimi nilikuwa nisha travel na get before other than na get before the, the, this lady because she traveled na nilikuwa nisha jituma but i was still struggling na pia kujikaza pole pole but when i got this job mama kanipatia kazi what i have used with with that ni mipidi yangu mimi mwenyewe from there number one, nilikuwa nifanya kazi kwa parliament bro nimepata dub but though mimi nibasha plot zangu na get hata kuna plot ambayo nimejenga on my own niko na flat zangu nimeshajenga ni bidi yangu mimi mwenyewe bro una get wewe sema tisa mimi nimewekwa number two, While I was working there, mimi nimekuwa director of communication wa Hasla eh, Nation. Nilikuwa na inaitwa William Samuel Ruto Presidential Campaign. Kwa sababu mimi West Western Kenya mzima. So communication. Bro ni bidii yangu. Mama alipo nipatia tu kazi nikapata, mimi mwenyewe nimejituma nikapatia hiyo kazi. Una get? Haya, mm. mimi ni chief hasla. Mm. Na I have evidence zote zipo kwa hii yangu bro. Hizo picha na video zote kwa hii yangu. I'll share with you after this interview. I share with you you can have it and it's a part of Kenya waangalie Kenya to confirm what i'm saying is true mm-hmm. after ata sisi for sure kuunda hiyo serikali bro after kufanya hizo campaign zote na William Ruto but then William Ruto timekuwa na kama mlevi nongea pamoja hivi mmm ni Ruto Ruto na kama pamoja na kama pamoja hivi kweli yes tapiga ni story eh ni James ni mambo kuna namna gani chief hustler kwanza by then according to president hata kabla kwanza ingesa tos ni vile tusaidi tangu ingeo mazoe kwa saizi mazee kuna protocol imekuwa juu imeongezeka but ni jamaa anajua hata nikipiga simu yangu jamaa tunasi msema eh ni jamaa msema tunasema namna gani sasa hivi sasa protocol iko juu sana kufikia na kuwa challenge na get kwa sababu hiyo hali ambayo komo civil alikuwa hapo nyuma but ni rafiki yangu sana so unasema unaweza ongea na president direct mazee si kwa sababu huyo jamaa tumekuwa tukia i'm telling you 
So you want okay sawa so <coughs> I worked with this man tume kusini tulikuwa naenda Karen kwanza Karen nilikuwa ni kama mimi nyumbani for sure I get hmm. eh yeah, time kupata kwa the president I worked with that man and I knew nifanyia kazi because I was the head of communication yake in western region hmm. na ali share with you some of the photos uangalione unaona no jama tukao na pamoja share with you ukunisha wa Kenya waziwone hata after kuchukua ofisi hmm. I was now given nafasi mimi ni I'm the president of Hasla Summit mm-hmm. Hasla Summit and is issue number moja pamoja we are pushing the better agenda the president better in a manisha bottom up economic transformation agenda hiyo mm-hmm. ndio eh ndio agenda ya government ya William Ruto ni kuna five pillars kuna mambo ya agriculture kuna mambo ya eh, MSME kuna mambo hapa ya eh, digital economy and eh, creative economy na get haya kuna hapo pia mambo ya universal healthcare na pia mambo ya affordable housing mm-hmm. ya kuje kujengeza manyumba hizo ndio pillars za, za beta na ndio president anachukuma na sasa sisi mimi kama president, president n- wa hiyo initiative na jaribu kupushi na kuinjukieto wa Kenya bro we have traveled this country records go out, outside there records go point here i share with you videos and photos onyesha wa Kenya what i'm doing bro i'm being paid money mimi ni najituma mtoto wa kiume najituma bro mimi sijawekwa my wife amedanganya mm. sisi fanye hizo kazi zote alafu kwa nini nilikuwa nalipwa na nilipwa na mawe una get record record there yeah. wana Kenya wala ambao wananijua the following me unajua kitu ambacho nafanya bro another thing pia nikiongezea i said speaking wakati tulienda wedding yetu the wedding tulienda hanimo na my wife eh Diane South Coast we were supposed to spend two weeks nilikuwa nimeshakuleza initially but we spend one week na tukarejea the meal is ambayo ilifanyika na nataka kusit pia record straight nilikuwa nimepewa contract na government of Kenya umeona through talanta hela ku prepare wale wasanii ambao watakuja kutumbuiza wa Kenya na president during jamhuri ya celebration tarehe 12 december nimesikia so when i am the ceo of mollywood media group na my media company nilikuwa nimepewa contract So while I was in the honeymoon after one week I got a call. I get got a call kutoka kwa eh CEO na director wa permanent presidential music commission. How do you say I I come and sign a contract kundi mkataba. So na I'm saying I'm the CEO I'm the only person who will show broke kuja kusaini hizo makaratasi. Na government iko na mambo linapanga mambo yake. Haingeweza kusema at Sajja Mori Songeshwe from 12 December mpaka 13 kwa sababu ni ndio siku ya Kenya kushirikia kila mwaka na ileo kukatiba sawa sawa atakuwa sababu team dr msan hii ako kwa honeymoon yake ilibidi mimi honeymoon nisongeshe mbia my dear let's go and make this deal na bro mimi nikwambia kitu moja mimi have hustled in these streets bro mimi nimehustle kwa miaka mingi sana alo skin kwa ngine my aunt aunt hanga najua nilikuwa nitembea bro kwa kitu moja nilikuwa na vangu moja wash and wear bro i've hustled siku najua hata kuvaa suit ndio kitu gani so nimepata opportunity deal kama bro singeweza kuiacha hata kama bro kama ni wewe uko honeymoon na million deal imekuja utafanyaje utasema wacha saa basi niendelee kwa honeymoon kwanza ama niende kutafuta biashara kazi kwanza ka kazi muhimu kazi muhimu nato Kenya wenye walikuwa na troll for sure akisema kwamba mimi niliacha ni, ni mimi siwezi angalia bibi siwezi angalia mapenzi wa Kenya kama ni wewe for sure na uchumi wa saa hizi hivi hmm. utakaa pale na bibi kwa honeymoon ama utakuja usani kwa biashara shwali hmm. na kesho nataka kuzaa watoto tuanze kulea so bro mi i came back Nairobi and records are there i want kenyans to get records bro i have evidence here i want you to share with the kenyans who want to meet in kenya mm. we came and we did what we call a launching of an event ilikuwa pale kenya national theater hata waziri rafiki yangu sana madam cs are you guys she came as chief guest mm. tulikuwa na baraka mluka advisor president mm. tulikuwa na a, a ceo national theater by the making bestangu sana nipatia hiyo facility tulikuwa na CEO Kenya Films Kenya Films Kenya Films Film Board alikuwa mahala pale na wa Kenya wengine na viongozi wengine wa serikali to launch the program but after there we went now kufanya watu kule auditions so kuna wasanii ambao watachukuliwa waende wa performance ya Mori sasa we went where pale permanent presidential music commission sasa road we did a very good auditions i have also evidence here i'll share with you utunisha wa Kenya mimi si kutoka bibi yangu at honeymoon nilikuwa nimeja kufanya kazi bro that's what i came to do after there bro we did all of us ni ambao walichakuliwa sasa tunajua kufanya what you call now eh 
grand finale event ilifanyikia Nairobi Cinema na we partnered with Kenya Films Commission Board officers walikuja mara pale na rafiki yangu Senator Hezena my dear I salute you so much nasema asante sana Senator Hezena eh, from Samburu she was chief guest alikuwa na viongozi kutoka kwa Tlanda Hela kwa ministry ya youths eh, creative economy kulikuwa na viongozi wengi kutoka kutoka mbali mbali yeah. have evidence here I'll share with you you'll share with Kenyans wakuja waone bro it was a good event tukamaliza na get so I told my, my wife we have a family nikasema na tutikimaliza hii mambo ya kazi hii sawa sawa bado naweza kupeleka na gate by the way this is my plan kumpeleka Zanzibar tuko tumeenda sibu na diani nikasema my dear tukichapa hii deal ya kafu imalizike i was going to take her in Zanzibar for a holiday na get na a good now honeymoon sasa honeymoon pro max that was my, my plan bro so bro mimi ndio kuset kuambia wakenya kwamba ama a very hard working guy like any other kenyan out, out there any other youth youth mimi bro nimetoka katika familia masikini kwetu nasikia na mimi ndio mtoto mkubwa pale mimi ndio breadwinner na mimi ndio najituma so when i get an opportunity lazima ni utilize so like any other sit hustler nilikuwa pale niko na mambo ya honeymoon na pia niko na mambo ya kazi bro i came tafuta kujituma nataka wakenya wajue kwamba bro mimi sijawekwa nasikia i'm a very hard working hustler hiyo mali yote ambayo nilikuwa nimekitafutia ni vile tu mamangu mkwe anisaidia kupata kazi ya kwanza the first job kutoka South Africa kuingia kufanya kazi kwa parliament na get that's the first job but from there nimekuja nikabuild my own company Muli Media Group nimekuja pale nikatafuta connections kapata kazi ya kuwa president wa Hasla Summit nimekuja pale maweza kutafuta other network zote ni bidii yangu si ati bidii mimi kwa mara bro so nataka wa Kenya wajue kwamba mzee anajituma so in short um by the Mr I've really listened uh, each and every single word eh, kutoka kwako and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm your fellow man I'm, 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 I'm a man like you and I always understand wakati mwanaume anaongea anajibonga yani so uh, it pains kuitwa kuitwa maskini ama kuitwa labda yes. kafukusui eh? but I would like to ask ili iliendaje ikafika to a point uh, ni nini kilifanya your wife akuite like wewe ndo unakutegemea wewe ndo unamtegemea yani ni kama wewe ndo unaishi kwake to a point asema no anataka properties zake tele iko jikate kutoka kwake <coughs> bro kitu number one nilielezea and it was the biggest thing mm. ni vile mom alinilink nikapata job you number one number two Eh, bro where we stay at this at the moment in nyumba ambayo tunaishi by this ngambia mazee lakini asla for sure bro mimi ni manzia kule kibira nikipiga hasa nikaa ni get ngongoro sasa hivi tunakaa pa eh, mrema eh, drive hapo tunakaa ile flat ambayo tunakaa bro nataka watu walee uzuri kabisa ile flat ambayo tunakaa ni flat ya madhin law mm msikia mm-hmm. na bro kukaa hapo mahali si ati Madeleine ni patia na kafri we pay rent in fact kuna agent ipe nilipo kwa agent hiyo ni pro tunalipa kwa pesa kwa agent in nilipa pendi pa rent na get mm. so she takes advantage kwamba ni nyumba yao mm. wanani get mm-hmm. but bro nilisikia kwa nikwambia bro pia mimi i have my own na get flat mm. eh hapo lumumba drive mm. duki as pale ilijenga pale nyumba pale at my flat. Na tulisikia kuambia we had that caretaker guy nilipata kwa kwa nini kwa kwa gari na my wife. That caretaker ndio alisimamia is of flat in the chungu of flat. Mm-hmm. But I was smart. So can you jenga so flat kasema staki mbona nilisema staki kukaa kwa flat yangu na ile ikae kwa flat ingine nilipe rent. Kwa sababu niliona hii flat nimejenga na staki kuzoeana na get <coughs> na my tenant mini get so si kutaka kuishi kwa plot yangu kwa sababu tutakuza ni my tenant wangu mini get but i okay independent of any mambo yao kule pia ni kitu mahala pengine so na nikachukua this uh, gentleman huyu caretaker and in the of flat so for sham futa ama kwa pale bado in fact after that took five fanyika bro mm he's been at up to now eh uh, you see the lady eh uh, madam Unajua wote wanafanya hapo kazi wote. 
Mbona kiateka na bibi yake watu wanasaidia kufanya fanya hapo ndani kazi wote mm. na the lady wote wako na watoto. So bado sijamfuta kazi. Ni unajua kwa kama package. Na watu wanafanya hapo hapo ndani kazi. So so bado jawa. Eh 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 bado sijasimia kazi na hata bado hiyo 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 shughuli from there bado hata sijashukia kwendo huko vile sana. Mm. Na shughuli basi niletu kwa sababu mbona madam madam she is a good lady for sure na kuna family na get but this man and again that's why nilikuwa nataka nikimaliza i have not established kwamba is it true wa kordina affair umeona ama hapa bro i can conclude penda kwa ni kwa affair kwake that's why what i want ada tukielewa malizia mimi nilikuwa nataka kufanya nini we do what we call eh yo sim yake umeona we sanitize her phone mm-hmm. so that i can get a bottom of the matter okay. so nisema i can't i'll be unfair kukonglude kwamba huyu jamaa kuna affair na wife ndio anifute kazi kuja kuona kwamba pengine ni ukweli pengine haikuwa hivyo na get sio kwa nipata so how to get now the tangible facts nikienda hata nikienda nikienda sasa nyumbani kwa mama ni kwenda evidence yote ya kutosha those are easy maze love yangu na kila kitu na get imerudi chini haiko ilikuwa lakini bado huyu jamaa sijamfuta kazi so i was asking your question mimi naishi kwa plot ya madini lo Like I stay there as a tenant. I don't stay there as a son in law, as a tenant and I pay rent. The rent I pay through the agent. No get. I am independent there. Pili kuna pia madam pia pia namchangia. But kwa plot yangu pia there are people who stay there and they pay rent. Mona through the agent pia pia napata pesa. So Mama akisema hivyo kwamba sijui nini nini she was putting it like inaishi kwa property yao sana kama inaishi kwa unaji property yao so property yao I get which 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 bro for sure in fact there something I'm working on it nikishapata ukweli wa mambo because me I want to go and divorce mm. nisha confirm ukweli I'm yeah. going to break before there before there let me ask you something na nizahama hata kwa hiyo plot sasa ile time ile time ile time ile time <laughs> this time wakati madhi law alikuwa anakutafutia kazi Uh, alikupatia nyumba labda uishi for for a certain period before you start maybe kupata pesa ya kulipa ama maybe yani alikusaidia mahali pa kukaa kitu kama hiyo ama wewe uliingia kulipa rent immediately thank Kwa you thank you so much for that question <coughs> and this is kwamba the mom she is one of the best mother in law yeah any mm-hmm. son in law and is a partner and she was the best but eh uh, her daughter mm-hmm. she's going to really opposite na yeye kabisa mhm and break about mom mimi ndio kumpenda so mom nilipokuja eh by then nilikuwa nakaa nini eh ngongo wote mm-hmm. bro bado siko na kazi bado nilikuwa na asulu hapa na pale mm-hmm. so when mom alikuwa ni pushia kupata hiyo kazi na she was really kwamba anaenda kupata kazi mm-hmm. so bro i came and by the namshukuru kwa hili for sure mom i came na kasema my son now kulingana na kazi for sure na status zako si ndio she was making my mom we kuja kaa hapa ukipata okay, kazi at least na get apo malo taka una get kuja kuja kaa hapa hivi bro i can tell you for the past three months i want to look at the camera na kuambia mama thank you so much for the past three months nika kwa hiyo job cuz tukiingia for sure mshara hata ikuje mm-hmm. so when you look that kwa kwa hiyo nyumba mom akasema akatulipia rent una get those three months unajua afanye simu pia na PSC permanent uh, parliament uh, sex commission so for three months tukaanza kulipa pesa nilipolipa pesa nikaanza kulipa rent sasa una get people like agent so lakini all this my dear mama mbona sasa naona so at least maybe she's referring the only three months to leash pale mama to pay rent but from there nimekuwa nikili parent cuz my passport am shara nilikuwa nilipa pesa okay. so kwa kweli sasa at proper time tunani na and i can still move out from that house mona and i can and rent in another place oh. yes i guess uh, my questions are all over maybe uh ziko ziko, ziko mingi lakini mm-hmm. for now let me just cut there kwa sababu uh pia masaya mesonga sana na sikujokesha sana but so far so good i'm in the studio mm-hmm and at least maybe if you have another something maybe nataka kuambia anyone out out there kwa sababu na hii ni kama unatuonyesha na work na serikali lakini ndio wengi hii so uh, kama uko na opportunity labda inaweza saidia vijana wote pale kwa nini you can maybe advise them here uh, 
take the last minute. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, these are two things to, to share. Number one, mm -hmm. uh, I want us to encourage also all Kenyans mm -hmm. by day to give us more time to but here, President William Ruto time for sure a pange then it's to pange nice rekaliaki. So, so, to be patient. Number two, for youths outside there, there are many opportunities. Kuna many funds ambazo ziko zapotea vijana wanze biashara. Ministry of Cooperative and MSME iko na many uh, affirmative action. Kuna youth fund, kuna hustler fund, kuna women fund pia, kuna wezo fund. Youths go and apply those funds ziko inje pale mingi na mneza zipata. Those are many opportunities ambazo ziko mala, mala pale inje. So, and lastly pia nimesema hivo, uh, many things do happen up inje. Na we learn from, we learn from the mistakes. Me, I'm a semi doctor. I'm going to have to do some work. So, so, let's manage to talk inje. We're going to show you how to up and up and up. Now, she did talk here. Kijana, and talk inje. And that a footer what to talk here now. Go and share. Maybe maybe we're going to heal in Jamaica. Amanengine. Thank you so much, and may God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Doctor. Yes. Mashukuru sana. Asante. Be blessed. Thank you. Doctor Nani. Doctor Msani Joseph. Doctor Msani Joseph. Yes. Msani is a uh, is your name. By the way. What one to use at one in Bogani? My name is Joseph Msani. Msani is my official name. I take your ID. Put my papers out on. So, Dr. Msani is my name. Dr. Msani, yes, Joseph. Thank you so much. So, Mr. Dr. Joseph, I'm Dr. Msani Joseph. Um, we appreciate for your time. Be blessed. And Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, my people. Be blessed. Thank you.